For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. February 4 marked 30 years since the civic military rebellion led by Commander Hugo Chavez. The rebellion, despite its failure, marked the beginning of the end of neoliberalism in the country. It led the foundation for a new era of major socio-political changes in Venezuela. On February 4 this year, tens of thousands of Venezuelans took to the streets of Caracas to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the 1992 revolt. A parade was organized to pay tribute to Commander Chavez at the Cortel de la Montana Military Museum, where his mortal remains rest. Two massive marches were organized in honor of Chavez and to reiterate the commitment to defend his legacy. President Nicolas Maduro hailed the anti-oligarchic, anti-imperialist and popular character of the uprising, which served as a basis to the Bolivarian Revolution. What led to the civic military rebellion in Venezuela? In the 1980s, Venezuela was experiencing a serious economic crisis. President Carlos André Pérez signed a deal with the International Monetary Fund in 1989. This was followed by a series of neoliberal reforms. An abrupt increase in the price of basic food products, fuel, transport and other public services sparked outrage. On February 27, 1989, hundreds of thousands of poor Venezuelans took to the streets of Caracas against neoliberalism and decades of social injustice in the country. This was the legendary Caracaso. The protests were heavily repressed. The Caracaso bloodbath pushed the revolutionary Bolivarian Movement 200 into action. MBR 200 was a political movement founded by Chavez in the country's military barracks in 1982. On February 4, 1992, five army units led by young Lieutenant Colonel Chavez moved into Caracas in an attempt to overthrow the anti-people government of Perez. Their aim was to seize key military bases and communications installations throughout the city. The main targets were the president's residence, the government headquarters, the defense ministry, the La Carlota military airport and the military museum. With the people's support, Chavez's forces advanced and took control of large cities such as Valencia, Maracaibo and Maracay. However, betrayals and other circumstances led to a reversal and Chavez was cut off. In order to avoid bloodshed, Chavez soon gave himself up to the government. He was allowed to speak on national television where he told his comrades that they had only failed for now. Two years later, he was released from prison and continued his political work. In the historic 1998 election, Chavez won with 56.54% of the votes cast. He was sworn in on February 2, 1999. This marked the beginning of the Bolivarian Revolution, a process of the political, economic, social and cultural transformation of Venezuela. It continues today under his successor, Nicolas Maduro.